Yo, what's good? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use your iPad as a monitor. Now, I'm going to try to make this video quick because I know if you're searching for it, you're not trying to be here all day. So let's get into it. So first, I want to quickly tell you how I plan on using this because that'll explain why it's set up the way it is. So basically, when I'm out filming, I'll have this set up to the side so that anybody else who's at the shoot is able to sit back and watch the footage while it's being recorded. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of latency from when it's recorded to when it's shown on the iPad. It isn't too bad, but it is something to mention. All right, so I wanna go ahead and show y'all everything that you're gonna need in order to make this setup work. Now, keep in mind, everything I talk about will be linked down in the description. So the first thing you're gonna need is a wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. Now this is the receiver and it's the Hollyland Mars 300 Pro. Um, I got it off Amazon on sale for about 350. I checked today and it was 429. So hopefully they have another sale soon. And the next thing you're gonna need is a iPad holder, something that will hold your iPad and uh, connect it to like a stand, right? So this one I got off Amazon for about 30 bucks. And again, I will link it down in the description. I also want to mention that you don't necessarily need this exact one. There's other ones out there as well. This is just the one that I decided on. Now to connect the receiver to the iPad holder, I ordered these little adapter pieces, which is essentially just two quarter 20s on both sides. So I hooked that up to the back mounting point on the iPad holder and there is an attachment that comes with this receiver, which also has the quarter 20 thread and you just screw it in. And this little adapter, I paid about seven bucks for, it came in a pack of five. Next, of course, you'll need an HDMI cable. This one I've had for a minute, so I don't really remember how much I paid for it, but I imagine it was maybe 10 to 15 bucks. It's a super short cable um, because you don't need all that length for something like this. So the next thing you'll need is super important. It's the audio and video capture cable. I think that's what it's called. But essentially, it converts that HDMI signal to USB Type-C so that you're able to see that image on the iPad. This one I also picked up on Amazon for about 21 bucks. And of course, you're gonna need your iPad. Now keep in mind that not all iPads are gonna work with this setup you will need an iPad that has a USB Type-C connection. One thing I forgot to mention is the receiver is being powered by the Sony NP battery. There is a USB Type-C port right here, which can also power it, but yeah, I'm just using the battery for now. So this is my rig as of right now. As far as this whole setup, minus the transmitter, I did a video on this a while back. Um, and it's pretty much stayed the same since then. So if you are interested in any of this, I will link that video down in the description. As far as how I have the transmitter set up on here, I have a rod clamp, I think that's what it's called. And it essentially just clamps onto one of these rods and sits on the other one. And it has different mounting points on the top. Here I have a hot shoe adapter and that adapter is connecting directly to the transmitter. And again, here I'm using a Sony NP battery. I understand that I could have this also running through my V-mount battery, but I try to reserve as much power for the camera itself. Um, it's just a personal preference. If you prefer, you can go ahead and connect this directly to your V-mount as well. So in this setup, I'm using the Ninja 5 Plus. Now, the way I have it, the camera is connected to the Ninja 5 Plus, and then it's outputting to the transmitter. So there's another cable right here, which goes to the transmitter. And I have it set up this way because when I'm filming, I can go ahead and use the monitor and also output that signal to the transmitter so it'll show on the iPad. And also a bonus is you're able to output the LUT that you have in the monitor to the transmitter. So the iPad signal will also show the LUT. I do want to point out that if you were to run the monitor and the transmitter through the V-mount battery, 
it'll save some weight so the setup won't be as heavy and that'll be a perk of running it that way the next thing you're going to need is an app that will display that signal so this is the one that i'm using it's called vidzik i think that's how you say it but um yeah i tried a few different ones and they didn't really work but this one worked just fine for what i need so if you set up everything correctly, once you turn it on, you'll go ahead and get this signal. And I know this isn't the only way to do this. There's a few different ways. And actually, if you're using the Hollyland Mars system, there's an app that you can use. So if I go ahead and open that up, um, it'll just load up here and you get the signal. And the good thing about this is that if you do it this way, then you don't need the cable. But as you can see, sometimes it'll be glitchy uh, because it is over a Wi-Fi signal. So this is another way if you're using the Hollyland Mars system, you can just go ahead and get this app and display it over Wi-Fi. And the bonus using this app is that you'll get different tools. So you can go ahead and use Waveform. You can use the histogram, there's vector scope, focus, uh, zebra and there's different things like frames, stuff like that um, is all in the app. But I don't know if y'all can tell, basically it's been glitching out a little bit as I'm recording uh, this footage. So the other way you don't get glitches, um, it is a little bit more expensive, but yeah, there's a couple different options as far as how you wanna set this up. But that'll do it for this video. So if you enjoyed, go ahead, drop this a like, jump down in the comments, let me know what you think and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It only takes a second and I will see y'all real soon in my next one. Peace.